And we're going to use Dr. Bob as our example. Okay, Dr. Bob here looking very excited on this slide. Dr. Bob is your typical family dentist. He's got, let's say, 3,000 patients, a couple of hygienists, and probably has your average restorative practice, meaning he does a lot of posterior restorations. He probably does a little endo, some crown and bridge, and he probably even does the occasional veneer case, but it's certainly not the bread and butter of his, pra of, of, his pra of, uh, of his practice. It's also probably important to know that a dentist like this is usually pretty well established. So at this point, and you probably know people like this, he doesn't do much marketing at all. General new patient flow or new patient flow generally comes from referrals and word of mouth stuff, which is all good. So not a lot of marketing or advertising that goes on. In fact, other than some well placed posters around the office, maybe a Lumineers poster or a CAD CAM poster, he, he doesn't really do much to promote additional service to his patient base. Even though in the last uh, 12 months or so he's added Invisalign and he's now placing in, implants and he's got a sensational smile system. Okay, so that, 